I gotta get a picture of yeah, Get a picture of <laughs> These are red-eared sliders right here. Super cool. So Kenton Trays Days is one of the largest flea markets in the state of Texas. Uh, it's known to everybody as the place to go to buy anything and everything in the world. There's all different types of critters down there that we do regulate, from ducks, raccoons, turtles, alligators. But there's also a lot of animals that we don't regulate, dogs and cats. Hey, a little bit of everything. Castor canadensis. Mm-hmm, that's a beaver. That's a beaver. Hey, how's it going, man? Good. Hey, man. Hey, we appreciate the call. So we got a call from one of our vendors to inform us that some illegal activity was occurring. What, what happened? Well, uh, a gentleman approached me and said he had a truckload of alligator heads. Then he said, you know, if you want to buy them all, they're $10 piece if you buy them all. And I said, I, I can't sell that. And that's when I, I picked up one of the heads and I turned it over and there was no tag numbers on the inside of the head. Because I know yeah. you can possess them if it has a tag. John's been doing this for years and certainly he knows what's legal and illegal. And when he saw these alligators, he knew they were wrong. Alligators are a protected species in Texas. How and where they can be hunted is strictly regulated, and gators must be tagged within 72 hours of harvest. He said $10 a head? $10 a head if That's I took them all. That's about, cheap. About how many did he have? I, I'm going to say at the very most 20. If it's just uh, one violation, you know, the fines could go up to $500. But uh, I think this guy, he said he had 20 alligator heads, so this could get huge. And if he has the legal permits and stuff, we're fine. But if he don't, hey, we're going to catch him. Can you describe this guy to me? Uh, seemed to be Hispanic, two inches taller than me, about 240 pounds. Yeah. He, he did give me his business card. We did not find the seller at the market. We decided to call him. What we plan to do is set up a buy, but I'm not interested in buying anything. Uh, I'm interested in catching him. Hello? Hello, Ricardo? Yes, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Buenos dias. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Hey, do you have some alligator heads? I sell it, my friend. One guy, he come back and buy me all of them. Bought all of them? Yeah. I was really disappointed when he already sold the heads, because, I mean, we were, I mean, that happened in 10 minutes. But I have the full alligator. A full alligator? Yeah, I have two, one a baby. One like six, seven feet longest. Okay, what do you want for those? Uh, 300 for this. It's complete alligator. Okay. Hey, I'll take him. Uh, let's meet on I 20. There's a truck stop. All right. These lobs have all kinds of stuff. McGee and Stapleton are meeting a man who may be illegally selling an alligator hide. We kind of want to get the surprise on him. When somebody's offering for sale some uh, something that's illegal, instead of going and tracking them down, have them come to you. Hello, Ricardo. I've got him on the phone. He's asking me where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at the gas station. Oh, yeah, I get you. Okay. Oh. Okay, pull up to the Black Suburban. Oh, Black Suburban. Yeah, I get you. We've got our game warden trucks hid, so I uh, diverted him to another car. He sees us. Let's go up here and talk to him. Let's go get him right now. All right. Mm, yeah, he's getting in. Why don't you get him right here? Just get him. Hello, Ricardo. You got some alligators? What alligators? What alligators? OK, hop out for us. Anytime we go into a situation like this, it's always potential risk. He told me that he was a pastor at a church, but I don't know this guy from Adam. All right, I'll take those keys for a minute. Hey, do you have anything on you? Why don't you turn around there for a minute? Hey, you don't have anything on you we need to know about other than this little knife right here, right? OK. Hey, you're a pastor too, right? Yeah, pastor. OK, good. Where do you pastor at? In the children, in the children. We need to visit with you a little bit about these alligators, OK, and, and offer them for sale. I tell you what, though, let's get everybody's way. All right. The first thing I see is a large alligator skin in the back of his car. I have one caiman and one alligator. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you have a permit to sell them in Texas? It's a creation they have it in my store for a long time. Right. Long time I have it from the creation. Right. I buy it like, I don't know, six, seven years ago. Right, right. I understand, but still, in the state of Texas, though, you've got to have a permit to sell uh -huh. them, OK? Mm -hmm. And then the ones you sold in Canton today. No, I don't sell nothing. Yeah, you sold them in Canton, yeah. 
and we know that, okay? okay. That's over. Okay. Okay? I don't know. No, no, okay, yeah, you uh, did. We want to know where the 20 heads went. He got the good case of the forgets. You are a preacher, right? Yeah. No mentiras. No mentiras. You're the liar. No, no. I, yeah, you're a liar. No, me. yeah, no, no, because we're enforcing the law. You, you lie, wait. You, you lie wait. For right. me. No. You tell me why. I say I know where to sell it. No. You tell me. You I said you want to sell it. This is an ancient alligator. That thing's older than all of us put together. But what I'm looking for now is he needs to have some type of documentation or a number on the jaw. That's Cayman. So these are not regulated in Texas. You'll see these sold in pet shops uh, all across the state. That's a North American alligator. We do regulate those. Yeah, so um, so he wants to up to that one. But he's saying he didn't sell, sell anything he can today. Really? Yeah. yeah. And they'll let you take an angle at him on the ones he can't. OK. Yeah. We want to know about the alligator heads. What alligator heads? The, the 20 small ones. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, listen, I'm the, I'm the one that talked to you on the okay. phone, OK? OK. You've been talking to me the whole time. The voice sound familiar? OK. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. He's got a big six-foot-long alligator hide in the back of his car in plain view. The big jig's up at this point, but this guy's still trying to deny that he even had the heads. Do you want to play him back? Yeah. To him? Do we need to play him back? I we sure could, real quick. Do you want to hear yourself talking about the little head? Go Hello, ahead. Ricardo. I want some uh, heads. Do you got any heads? <laughs> you have what? I, I need to Oh, yeah, that yeah, throat's getting some some scratchy more. right now. We're getting yeah. to the good part. <laughs> he didn't want to hear none of that. OK, you understand? We got to talk. I'm very disappointed, because I really thought when I heard you were a preacher, I said, we're going to go over there and not do anything. Yeah, I thought we were going to go down the right road. And all we got here are lies. Who has company with me? Uh, it's going with us. I pay more than $400. Right. Sorry. This guy still wants me to pay him for this alligator. <laughs> He's still wanting 300 bucks for this thing. You think we're fixing to give you money for that? We're going to turn this case over to the Dallas County Game Warden. Since this did happen uh, in his county, uh, he went ahead and wrote the citation. I'm going to be issuing a citation for offering to sell an American alligator without having a proper permit, OK? Yeah. You need to sign right here, OK? It's not a plea of guilt. You're not playing guilty. You're just promising that you're going to contact this judge. It's okay. different. It's different. Okay. Need to I'm going to give you two chances. Either you ah. either you sign that right there, or you're going to go to jail. Uh, you sign this. OK, hey, this you can it. go take that up with the judge, and we will visit about this at a later date. Yeah. But you need to get to go to church. Yeah. So. No, don't worry. Don't worry. I know how something is. It's not right. What did you want us to put on the ticket? He, 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 tell me, he called me to sell it. OK, I will put that on there. I will okay. put that on there that I called you to sell it. I believe there was a language barrier there, but I wrote the testimonial like he wanted. I, Randolph McGee, see this name right here? Uh -huh. That's me, offered to buy the alligator. OK, sign here. All right, see ya.